Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Uh, so today what you're looking at is the front fairing of a Honda Elite 50 scooter. I believe it's from around, I don't know, I think it's from the late 80s. I'm not sure. Um, as you can see, I got a bag full of broken pieces here. Uh, this one was in a wreck and a big old chunk of the front fairing came off. And these things are impossible to find, uh, to buy new or to buy even used ones. So I'm going to try my hand at repairing one of these. And I've never done it before. And I'm prepared for all the helpful hints that will come after this video comes out. Even though by at that time, it'll already be done and I'll have already made all my mistakes. So this is what I bought. And hopefully this is the right thing. I've never done fiberglass before. Um, I'm not going to fiberglass the outside, I'm actually going to try to fix it from the inside because behind the fairing on the scooter is a bunch of empty space and so I can be as sloppy as I want back here and I just have to, only thing I have to be careful about is right in this area here and right in this area here where it actually comes into contact with the scooter. Um, this is what I bought. I bought fiberglass cloth. It just seemed less messy than the uh, short fiber stuff, I'm not sure. Um, if this is better or if the other stuff is better. Um, and then I bought some fiberglass resin and a couple of chip brushes to spread everything out. I'm probably going to attempt to do two fiberglass layers on the back side of this. And then if everything goes well, I also have a small repair that I need to do right there. And, um, well, it won't focus, but you can see that crack. Um, the uh, this is the tail light assembly. So uh, why don't you uh, stick around, see how well I do, and then you can go ahead and post your comments in the, the section below to s tell me what I did wrong. And uh, but you can also leave notes of encouragement. I always like encouragement. So stick around, and I'll get right to it. Okay, I think the first step I'm going to take here is I'm going to attempt to reconstruct this. Um, using blue painter's tape only on the on the I guess it's the front side the outside and um, if I can get it to stay together and in the right orientation using the blue painter's tape then hopefully that'll provide the right type of backing I need to actually do the fiberglass work so I'm going to pull out the broken pieces with this big hunk here I got this little piece here. And I've got this. Uh, this might be interesting. This is um, a screw standoff that goes here somehow. I might end up uh, inserting this later on. So, let's see. Well, everything kind of fits together okay. Um, I don't know. The piece that is broken off has warped slightly just probably because of the relieving of the stresses. I should be able to force it back into place though. So let's see what I can do. Definitely already, already turning out to be a little trickier than I had anticipated. I'm sure a lot of you guys are already laughing at me. Need like a third hand.
Here, let me uh, tuck you guys up here. This is a little bit more comfortable working angle. Something weird going on right here. Right, well, this point right here is the actual point of impact that I believe broke this whole section off. Um, it's a little deformed. I'm going to have to finesse it a little with a file to get it to fit back in the, where it originally was. Oh, you got my face and not the action going on here. Sorry. Let's try that again. Better. All right, I think that'll do it. So now I'm gonna take this. Okay, get you closer here so you can see what how it looks on the inside. So get it to focus. So that's how it looks on the outside. The tiniest gap, since this is plastic, it should be pretty forgiving when I put it back on the bike. Um, this is the piece that has the missing standoff, so I, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. I'll work on that separately. You know, you can also see some of these other tabs that have broken off and they kind of just help stabilize this piece and its location in the front of the bike. It shouldn't really matter. The most important things are these screw holes. There's six screws and then there's three bolts that pass through the front here and that's what holds this whole fairing together and as you can see if I could come on focus. There we go. So anyway as you can see this whole piece wraps around under the scooter, so it's a monster piece. I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to reinforce all that taping that I did on the front side um, and then I'm going to clean this area and scuff it with some sandpaper and to prepare it for the fiberglass. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and call that good. Um, you know, I said like on the instructions, one to two inches away from the the area that needs to be repaired. So the paint is completely removed for about an inch, and then I got a good scuff for another inch around that. I'm gonna let this dry now that I just cleaned it, and um, once it's dry, I'm gonna go ahead and start laying down some of this fiberglass cloth and then once I repair once I'm done repairing this section I will go back and I will do the same exact procedure to repair this section right here There were guidelines of how much resin to hardener. I'm going to say that's about five ounces right there. And each ounce takes ten drops of hardener.
Let me grab a stick for mixing. Make sure we got enough in there. I don't want to go, I don't want it to be sticky. And it's hard to tell. There's no color change like with Bondo. Alright. First I lay down a coat of resin. You guys can see this, right? Zoom in a little bit. There we go. The tape on the back side will also serve to kind of as a dam to keep this from seeping out. All right, let me get my first layer down. Saturate it. Probably want it to actually cover the crack. There we go. This stuff's pretty cool. I like it. I like how it'll bend and conform to whatever shape you're trying to make. Second layer. Final layer, as I'm realizing I made up way too much of this stuff. Oops. Yeah, you can see it's on the camera there. This one's going to be more challenging because there's lots of stuff in the way. And it's pretty warped as well. I'm going to try to sneak some of this on here since uh, I've got so much of this resin. I've got... how much working time do I have? Uh, maybe not. 8 to 12 minutes. We'll see. I'll worry about that standoff later. I'm not sure there's going to be a lot I can do for that. Mm. 
Somebody's showing off out there. Can you hear that? <laughs> that was a tough repair. All right. A little bit more. Sneak it in here. Sorry, you probably can't see. There's just a little area that didn't get much attention. All right, I can see it's starting to gel over on the other repair that I did, so I'm just gonna, it's kind of gelling up here too, so. I'm going to leave it. So, there it is. I did three layers of fiberglass. Um, I think that should be good enough. We're going to find out, I guess. And then we'll see how bad it is. Once everything dries, we'll see how bad the, the, un, the, the outside of it looks and how much repair is going to need to take place in order to make it all smooth again. I might end up having to use some body filler still. Um, well, definitely, but we'll see. The whole point of this project is to get this thing looking nice, because my this belongs to my father and he wants to sell it. Uh, everybody had their turns learning how to ride scooters on this particular scooter, and that's why this one is so beat up, because there have been lots of wrecks. So anyway, I'm going to let this dry, and then when I come back, you'll see how it turned out. Okay, it looks like it's dried enough uh, for me to take the tape off the front side. I'm pretty anxious to see how it looks now that I've gotten the repair done. Alrighty. Well, I have to admit it's pretty good. Um, this, this repair is really good. Um, a little bit of sanding, if I'm inclined to. I'm not even sure um, I'm going to try to repair it any f further than this. Uh, it really will be up to my dad, who, who this belongs to. This repair is a little goofy. Um, well, not goofy, but it's shifted just a little bit, so it would require a little bit of sanding, a little bit of bondo in order to make it a nice smooth surface. But this gets me in really in the right area if I did want to do the rest of this finish work. Now, here's my thing. If I end up sanding and and putting and bondoing and doing all the finish work on the front side, I'm gonna to have to repaint it. And I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to get this paint to match. On top of that, I've got this really nice um, emblem sticker on here. I may be able to find that online on eBay or something. So if, if I end up um, having to get rid of this, I can at least replace it. Most people that restore Hondas use this color paint. It's a Rust-Oleum. Um, it's called Apple Red. It's very close. As you can see, it's really close. Um, if I end up refinishing this, I'll have to use this and hope that this, when I when it's refinished, matches the rest of the plastics on the scooter enough to where it's not obvious that it's been repainted. Uh, but we will get to that point after I determine whether or not that that's even the direction we're going to go here. Just a little side note on the leftover resin, because I made way too much. Super hot right now like super hot. You can see it's kind of clouded up on the bottom here and it's where the, you can't see it, but where the uh, brush is in there, it's cracking. I think because it's expanding really fast, but I mean, look at this. I mean, it's solid as a rock. Might be good for casting, I'm not sure. But, uh, there you go. 